Hi friends, Mickey from Figma here, and today we're gonna make some flexible bento box grids in Figma, so let's go. We're gonna use the grid tools and constraints in Figma to make these. What's awesome is that they will automatically adjust to your frame size. The first thing I'm gonna do, let's bring back my interface. I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna press the F key to draw a new frame, select the frame, come over to the design panel, choose frame, and type in T-W-I-T-T, -T, and we're gonna choose Twitter post size. At this point, you wanna make sure that that you name your frame so double click on frame 7 and we're gonna call this bento grid press enter next let's add our grid elements select the frame come over here to the layout grid add the plus key click on the grid icon here we're gonna choose columns first we're gonna set 12 columns we want the type to be stretched this is going to keep it flexible and responsive we're going to set our margin to 24 and we're going to set our gutter to 24. we want our margins and our gutters to match and this is going to be important when we make our rows let's close that out i'm going to add in another layout grid click on the grid icon this time we're going to choose rows this time we are also going to set the row count to six so we're going to have 12 across six down we want to make sure that it's set to stretch and this time too we're going to set our margin to 24 and we're going to set our gutter to 24. if you're really into variables you can also set a variable to govern both the gutter and the margins now you can see that we have our columns and our gutters if i press the r key i can now draw in a rectangle and this rectangle can be used to shape out how our bento grid is going to come together i'm going to hold down the option key i'm going to drag this over to the right you can also use the duplicate key so i can press command d and that will duplicate the object that i have and i can move it over i can have four of these across let's add in a few more rectangles i'm going to press that r key one more time and draw that in i'm going to continue to add rectangles to fill up the space notice that they are snapping to the grid lines that I have created here too let's select I'm going to move this there and move this over I'm going to select both of these objects you'll see these little circles pop up and I can rearrange them as I see fit this is looking pretty good let me move this one over and this one over just a bit there if you want to hide the grid you can press shift G and that will show everything however at this point they aren't fully responsive in order to make them responsive select the frame and then press enter what that does is it selects all the children of the frame once again select that frame and press enter and now set the constraints here I'm going to choose left and right constraints as well as top and bottom constraints what that's doing is setting these rectangles to be aligned to grid elements when I extend this and when I squish this you can see that they're following the grid lines that they have been snapped to if i want to round out the corners of all of my elements i'm going to press enter it's going to select them all come over here to corner radius i'm going to apply a corner radius of 24. let's look at that that's looking great now if we want to we can begin to populate the elements that we have in here i'm going to add images to all of these so i'm going to come up here to the resources panel pull up the unsplash plugin and the unsplash plugin is going to allow me to add images to every one of these squares i'm going to select that first square let's choose some abstract imagery and then begin to populate it so you can see here i am populating this entire board with different images images provided by unsplash you can also place your own images into this space because each of these images is currently using the fill fill mode so they will expand to fill the shapes that they have been provided so when i take this bento grid and i expand it out all of those images are going to expand to fill that shape even as i move this across i make this larger the images will do their best to fill those shapes you can go in and crop these at a later point in time but i want you to just fully understand some of these basics the last thing that we're going to do here is we're going to make that grid that we created 
a style. So that way we can reuse it again and again. I'm going to select that bento grid. I'm going to come over here to the right and I'm going to click on these four dots and give me the ability to create a grid style. I'm going to call this MIGS bento grid and I'm going to create that style. So now it's been set. So any frame that we generate from this point forward, I can go to my layout grid styles and apply the MIGS bento grid. Right now I'm using 12 columns and six rows, but you can easily go in and change that count to be whatever number you want it to be. Feel free to experiment with different sizes based off of the frames and the media that you're using. Hopefully you found that helpful. And as always, happy designing.